Are you tired of a life without meaning, without purpose? Are you finally fed up living enslaved to wrong decisions, decisions or habits that harm both you and those around you? Are you tired of toxic or temporary relationships? Do you feel stuck in thoughts that lead you nowhere? If your soul finds no rest, if you find no purpose, I invite you to rethink a certain reality in your life. What does your soul delight in? Where do you find delight in your day-to-day -day life? In Psalm 1, we find the description of a person who prospered in every area of his life. Psalm 1 says, Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked and stand in the way that sinners take and sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates in his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaves does not wither. Whatever he does prospers. If you want to live a life similar to this person, enjoying life and seeing the healthy fruit of your effort, then stop wasting your time. Think for a second. Who guides your thoughts? Who do you listen to on a regular basis. The psalm tells us about this happy, fulfilled person. Happy is the one who does not follow the advice of corrupt, evil, or perverse people. Happy is the one who is not influenced by people who commit injustice. Happy is the one who does not hang out with cruel people. Now, you can spend your life avoiding others and still never find happiness and contentment. That is why the psalm invites us to go farther. Happy, fulfilled, is the one who delights in the word of the Lord and day and night meditates on it. This person does not seek to read or study the Bible to please God. Rather, he does it because he loves to learn. He delights in the scriptures. This is the place where your whole being is oriented. Your thoughts, your feelings, your spirit, your soul. And the result is a flourishing life. At home, at work, on the street, everywhere. A flourishing life. You will find yourself being the, the father or the mother your children need the son or daughter who honors his or her parents, the honest and trustworthy employee, the boss who does not abuse and makes you want to work under his or her direction. You become a whole person who flourishes, who is not influenced by just anyone, because your soul finds the light in the Word of God. Every day we surround ourselves with saints and ideas that often come from random people that generally feed wrong feelings in us. Envy, revenge, superiority, pride hidden under the mask of self-esteem. Don't waste your time anymore. Don't surround yourself with the wrong influences. Take the light in the Word of God and you will see how everything you do prospers.